Hello everyone, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I am going to demonstrate a scenario based on record trigger flow. Let's understand the requirement of record trigger flow now. So the requirement is like we need to copy files from one object to another. So the use case says like you need to copy files from opportunity to account when opportunity is closed one. So we have one account record, it can have one related opportunity and that related opportunity will be having one or more than one files related. If opportunity is closed one, so you need to copy all those files which are related to opportunity to the account. So first we need to understand how files are managed in Salesforce. So basically whenever you attach any file on any object, so a contained document object record is created for that file. So file always stores under this contained document object. Then S object, let's say opportunity. So if you are uploading any file on opportunity, so file record will be created under contained document object and opportunity object uh, will be separate. Then the contained document and uh, that opportunity as object will be having a contained document link junction record. So this contained document link is jun junction object, which is uh, related to contained document as well as as object. So it means that file can be linked with more than one objects with the help of this contained document link junction object. So now when I attach any file on opportunity, so file record will be created under contained document because first time we are creating that and a contained document link record will be created. But when the same file we need to link with any other object. So we just need to create contained document link between the file existing file and the another S object. We don't need to uh, create this contained document record again and again. It is created once. So let me jump to uh, org so that we can create this. So first of all, I'm jumping to opportunity and I'm going to pick an opportunity where account is related. So I'm opening this, which is having related account as well. And uh, if I go to related list, so under this notes and attachment, I can upload a file. So let's say, I attach a file. So I just attach this file. So what happened like one contained document record is created and one contained document link record is created. Now, if I close this opportunity, like uh, I change the stage of this opportunity as closed one. So this file should be uh, available on account record as well. So in that case, we just need to create the contained document link records between the contained document record that is created for this file and the account object, right? So I'm just going to add one more file here so that we can have multiple files. Those will be available on account so that we can have a loop in flow as well. So here we have these two files attached and uh, once this opportunity is closed one, we need to uh, copy these, these files to related account. So now I'm going to create the flow. So we need to create record trigger flow on opportunity and opportunity is updated. Then we need to apply the condition So here we have is one equals true. We can have one more condition like stays is changed true. If you are changing the uh, stays and uh, is one is equals to true, then only uh, we need to copy the files. So I am clicking on done. So this way our condition is set. Now what we need to do, uh, we need to fetch all the contained document link records. So 
all the contained document link records which are available uh, for that opportunity we need to query and the uh, same contained document link records we will be creating for the related account so first of all from here i'm just going to have get records so get contained document links of opportunity so here you can search for contained document link now we need to specify the condition so we need to fetch all those contained document links which are related to the opportunity record which we uh, just uh, converted into closed one so here you can search for linked entity id equals record dot id So if opportunity record ID is available in the contained document links linked entity ID field, it means this contained document link is uh, related to this opportunity. So we need to fetch all those and then click on done. So now we have contained document link records. Now we need to apply a loop on this. So I'm just having a loop element. Loop over contained document links. Okay, so this loop will be iterating now with the help of this loop one by one each contained document link record will be available. So we need to create new contained document links for account. So now we need to create two resources variable. So contain document link record. Then type will be record. Object will be contained document link and done. So this, this uh, contained document link record variable, CDL record variable will be storing one contained document link information. Now we need to create one more resource where we can store multiple contained document links. So contained document link list. So to convert the variable into a list, you just need to enable this checkbox, allow multiple values. So it will become a collection. Now here you need to create a assignment. So assign information to CDL record. So here you can search for contain document link record, right? And here you can see these information are available. So we need to create contain document link record for account. So first of all, we need to set contain document ID, which is the file ID that is already uploaded on opportunity that we will receive from a current item of the loop that is contain document link record that is attached or that is related to opportunity uh, that is having a contain document ID. So the same contain document ID will go to this new record. Then again, you need to use contain document link record dot. Now this time you need to apply linked entity ID. So it will be the account record ID. So you need to search for dollar record dot account ID. So the account record, which is related to that opportunity uh, on that account ID, you need to uh, store in this linked entity ID, right now. Apart from uh, these two fields, uh, you, you can uh, fill values to other fields like CDL record dot share type. So here you can select viewer, then CDL record dot visibility. So here you can select all users. Right, so this way one contained document link record is created uh, through this assignment, not in the org. We just created it in this flow only. Now we need to add this contained document link, link record to the list. So add CDL record to list. So here I am having CDL list, then add. CDL record and done. 
So this way, contained document list is created. Now what we can do, uh, we can just add, sorry, after completion of this loop, we can just have a uh, create record element. So I'm just clicking on this plus sign, which is after completion of loop. So here we need to select create record. So create contain document links on account. Multiple records, those are available in a collection variable that is contain document link list and then done. So this way this flow is implemented. Now in the beginning, I'm just adding one more condition. So we just need to check whether this uh, opportunity is having a related account or not. So if it is, is null, false. Then only we need to copy the files. So if opportunity is linked with any account, then only we need to perform this operation. So this is one more check. So I clicked on done, I'm clicking on save. So copy files from opportunity to account, clicking on save, activate. So here you can see we have already these two, these two files related to this opportunity. So I'm just doing a refresh. Now, if I open this related account in the new tab, so that we can confirm, is there any related file or not? So in the related list, you can see there is no file. Now I'm going to change the stage of this opportunity. So I'm just marking it as closed one and clicking on save. So now I'm moving here and doing a refresh. So in the related list of notes and attachment, you can see these two files are available. So this way through our flow, automatically from this opportunity, once it is converted into a closed font stage, all the uh, files are related to account automatically. So this way, with the help of this flow, I hope you understood how we can copy files from one object to another. So these two objects are important here. One is contained document and one is contained document link. So if you copy the file, so you just need to create contained document link uh, between the existing file and the new S object.